Starts with their Pro Bowl center, Ryan Kelly. Quentin Nelson, Anthony Costanzo, the terrific left side of the offensive front. Rivers goes underneath to his check down. Go, Kyla! Go, look at him! Oh, my God, my ball, Kyla! Yes, that was his 35-yard reception. Ball! Oh, fuck. Mate, he almost got his first touchdown. I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to focus on our third running back of the day and our final running back of the day, and that is uh, the rookie sensation from Wisconsin, Jonathan Taylor. Now, Jonathan Taylor came across my uh, YouTube screen for the first time in the 2020 NFL Combine. I saw him run a 40 yard dash that was just as impressive to me as uh, the, the great DK Metcalf and, and how well is he doing okay just for a start let me let me <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly DK Metcalf's fucking killing it now I know that straight line speed doesn't really account for much in the game of American football it doesn't account for much in the game of rugby either because at the end of the day you're constantly being lateral you're constantly sort of moving within that 10 to 20 yard 10 to 20 meter zone you don't really get time to get up to that top speed but man I saw something there I really did and and so apparently he's gone okay and that's what we're going to see today so basically Jonathan Taylor has played two games I feel I'm going to have a look at his stats first then we're going to have a read up on why he got promoted to the starting running back position. And then we're going to have a look at his highlights so far this year. So if I go to T and I go Jonathan. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my, uh, my Dallas Cowboys top because that's the closest thing I've got to a Colts uniform. Or is it? Now, I'd say this one looks a bit closer. Yeah, that'd probably do it. But we're going to keep that one there. Okay, there he is. Jonathan Taylor, boost. Boost. 5'10", 226. 21 years of age. And let me see what his stats are doing. Alright, he's taking a few touches. That's good. Nine attempts in his first game. This is a loss against the Jaguars. Now, I would say I want to watch the Jaguars game, but we don't have Lennon Fournette anymore, so I just, pff, I just don't know. But anyway, nine attempts, 22 yards, 2.4 yards per attempt, which is pretty average. You know, possibly dealing with some nerves, although he did get six receptions for 67 yards, which is an average of 11.2, um, which is fantastic. Moving on. Week number two against the Vikings. They had a win, 28 points to 11. 26 attempts, which is a pretty full schedule, 101 yards, average of 3.9, all we need is 3.3 .3 per attempt and we roll on down the field, so that's that's good. Um, 13 yards was his longest attempt, he got, he got a touchdown, he got a touchdown. Two receptions for 9 yards, with his longest reception being 5 yards. Okay, so, so overall he's got about 200 all-purpose yards, he's got about 130 uh, rushing yards, 123 to be exact, and one touchdown. Well, all right then, let's get into it. Jonathan Taylor, week one. Jonathan Taylor, week one highlights versus Jaguars. 39 seconds. Really? Really? Is no one putting together his hot? Is no one putting together his his highlights? All right. It is what it is. Just before I get into that, though, I want to write Marlon Mack. Marlon Mack carted to locker room. Oh, we've got an update. Here we go. 
Colts Marlamac tweets update after surgery on his Achilles. And that is, a, that, that, is, that is a major, major, major injury. Like, I'm not brushing over this whatsoever. But, i got to be honest, I felt pretty excited when I heard that, you know, his replacement was Jonathan Taylor. Marlon Mack tore his Achilles tendon catching a pass against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now out for the season, the Colts will be using rookie second-round pick Jonathan Taylor as the starting running back while Hines works in as a pass catcher. Max absence will be missed, and he tweeted out an update on Friday. Surgery went great. Hashtag thank God. Mac had an incredibly strong training camp and even looked like a complete running back during the first half of the season opener before tearing his Achilles. He took four carries for 26 yards while ca catching all three of his targets for 30 yards. Fuck, he was balling out. Mac's future will be something to watch in the next few months. He's expected to hit free agency after the 2020 season, and with Taylor taking the reins early on, there's a high chance the Colts don't re-sign him. <sighs> God damn. God damn. Anyways, guys, Jonathan Taylor, week one highlights versus the Jaguars. 39 seconds. Starts with their Pro Bowl center, Ryan Kelly. Quentin Nelson, Anthony Costanzo, the terrific left side of the offensive front. Yes. Rivers goes underneath through his check down. Go, Kyler! Oh, look at him! Oh, my God! What a ball, cut! Yes, that was his 35-yard reception. Ball! Oh, fuck. Mate, he almost got his first touchdown. What a run. Look at the speed. Look at the acceleration. Now nah, let's watch again. I actually can't remember. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that though. I thought he was lined up. Well, there he is. He's lined up to the right. Sweet as. See what's happening. Turn around. Get that. Get that short ball. You got two big boppers up here. I'm gonna clear some room for you. Go straight between them. And back yourself. Check down. This is Taylor, the rookie. Taylor breaking free inside the five. He's still going. And he's just shy of the end zone. Finally tackled by Jared Wilson. It's a pickup of three. I love that. On the catch and run by Taylor. One was huge. Fresh set of downs for Rivers and company. First and ten. Nice. Goes to Taylor as Jeff and again. Oh, oh, get in, son. Good contact. Oh, shit. Okay. Look. There'd be a fair few more plays, but that was his highlights, okay? So, all good, all good. Now we go Jonathan Taylor, week two. Jonathan Taylor, full week two highlights versus the Vikings. Colts versus Vikings. Let's go. Let's fucking go, son. 100 yards. Took all the front of that hit. Taylor. That's what he's doing. Go. Keep those leads going. Out of the shotgun. Again, meanders to the 44. That'll be a yard shy, a gain of five. Did meander. Jalen Holmes seeing the lion's share of action at that position. They go hurry up and fourth and one. What the fuck? Down. Fourth and one. Lion's share of action. Okay, so he's got to get to the. He's got to get to the 40, the 43 yard line. At that position, they go hurry up. And he gets it easy. And fourth and one, and get the first down. Taylor. And why not to go with it once he breaks contain? 31 yards already going into this carry right here. I'll call that a first down. Back behind him a little bit to make that grab. On second and one, Taylor forges ahead to the five. Been tough this season without preseason. Get in there. It is Taylor into the end zone. Touchdown. He's good on his feet, man. He's got good lateral movement. You know he's got that pace. Super stoked to go to touchdown. Talk about how physical that Colt offensive line is. They do a nice job getting push. Bro, that offensive line do their job, and you have an absolute superstar right behind you. Off guard just a little bit. Get that big surge when you talk about the power. Oh, Jonathan Taylor. Of course, Frank Reich knows about those bad starts and what you can do. Only the third team in NFL some. history to make it to the playoffs after a one Oh, that's a nice run. That's a great run. Stay on his feet. That was about six yards after contact there. 
Okay, well, I'm not going to break it all down because there's not a huge amount. But that was it. That's the third video of the day, the third player of the day. We started with Lennon Fournette. We, uh, we then went to Saquon Barkley, and I'm absolutely devastated for him. Um, and then we finished with Jonathan Taylor, and I'm absolutely ecstatic for him, to be honest. You know, my, my emotions are on complete opposite ends of the scales for both of those players, and, but they're both players that I absolutely love. I really couldn't split them, to be honest, right now. I could not split either of them. I think they're both just as lethal as each other. And I just hope and pray, touch wood, that Jonathan Taylor, uh, you know, plays out to his potential. He could have been the leading NCAA Division I rusher ever if he stayed for another year. But he decided not to. So let's get those yards. Let's get those 2,000 yards that you were going to get in college football in the NFL. How's that? Sound good? All right. In the next video, guys, I've just decided I'm going to do one more for today. We're going to look at Kyler Murray. We're going to look at his performances so far this year because apparently he pulled out the biggest goose step or the biggest dead leg, stop, go, whatever you want to call it, in the NFL you're ever going to see, and I want to see it. I really want to see it, actually. So we're going to break that down. You guys know I love my goose steps. And, uh, well, let's see what Kyler Murray can do. With that being said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a while, but we are back, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.